I'm here today to announce that the program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. The DACA program was implemented in 2012 and essentially provided a legal status for recipients for a renewable two-year term, worker authorization, and other benefits, including participation in the Social Security program uh, to 800,000 mostly adult illegal aliens. The policy was implemented unilaterally to great controversy and legal concern after Congress rejected legislative proposals to extend similar benefits to, on numerous occasions to this same group of illegal aliens. In other words, the executive branch, through DACA, deliberately sought to achieve what the legislative branch specifically refused to authorize on multiple occasions. That was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. The DACA program was implemented in 2012 and essentially provided a legal status for recipients for a renewable two-year term, worker authorization, and other benefits, including participation in the Social Security program uh, to 800,000 mostly adult illegal aliens. The policy was implemented unilaterally to great controversy and legal concern after Congress rejected legislative proposals to extend similar benefits to, on numerous occasions to this same group of illegal aliens. In other words, the executive branch, through DACA, deliberately sought to achieve what the legislative branch specifically refused to authorize on multiple occasions. Such an open-ended circumvention of immigration laws was an unconstitutional exercise of authority by the executive branch. The effect of this unilateral executive amnesty, among other things, contributed to a surge of minors at the southern border that yielded terrible humanitarian consequences. It also denied jobs to hundreds of thousands of Americans by allowing those same illegal aliens to take those jobs. We inherited from our founders and have advanced an unsurpassed legal heritage, which is the foundation of our freedom, our safety, and our prosperity. As Attorney General, it is my duty to ensure that the laws of the United States are enforced and that the constitutional order is upheld.